5,000 years ago, the town of Kondak became beneath the tyrannical rule of King Ankot, who intended to create the crown of Sabak, which is understood to provide the wearer tremendous electricity. After enslaving his people and forcing them to dig for Eternium, the magical crystal needed to create the crown, a young boy leads the slaves to riot towards him. When the boy is given the strength of Shazam, transforming him into Kondak's heroic champion Teth Adam, he kills Ankot and ends his reign. In the cutting edge, Kondok is oppressed via the Intergong. Archaeologist Adriana Tomaz tries to find the crown of Sabak, with the assist of her brother Karim, and co-workers Samir and Ishmael. As Adriana obtains the crown, they're ambushed by way of the Intergong, killing Samir within the manor. Adriana accidentally reads an incantation which awakens Adam from his slumber, who eventually slaughters maximum of the Intergong troops. After an Intergong soldier shoots an Eternium rocket at Adam which renders him comatose, it's far found out that Ishmael is an Intergong member who intends to take the crown for himself. Government reputable Amanda Waller learns of the incident and contacts Carter Hall, Hawkman to assist in taking Adam into custody. Hawkman is accompanied via his fellow participants of the Justice Society of America, including Kent Nelson, Dr. Fate, Maxine Hunkel, Cyclone, and Albert, Al, Rothstein, Adam Smasher, to forestall Adam. Adriana sees an inscription on an internal part of the crown which states, life is the handiest way to death. Adriana's son Eamon sees Adam as Kondok's hero, however Adam denies it and departs. Wanting to prove to Kondak that their champion has reawakened, Eamon makes a ruckus with the Intergong, efficaciously leading Adam to intervene and overpower them. The JSA arrive in time to forestall Adam from doing further destruction. As they fight, Fate senses that Adriana has the crown of Sabak. They manage to stop Adam for some time before he flees to the ruins of Ancot's palace. The JSA ask Adriana to offer them the crown, however she declines till they inform her the reality that Adam became the only who misplaced manage of his strength 5,000 years in the past and destroyed most of Kondok. The crown is given to Eamon, who takes it back domestic. Ishmael is there with Kareem, and well known shows his true colors. Eamon runs away from Ishmael, who shoots and wounds Kareem, and chases Eamon. Meanwhile, Adriana and the JSA meet Adam, and try to persuade him that he may be a hero to Kondok, before Eamon calls Adriana, who pleads to Adam to shop him. Adam immediately comes to the rescue, but Ishmael manages to abduct Eamon and flees on an Eternium bike. Adam attempts to rescue Eamon by means of coping with the Intergong on motorcycles to no avail. As Adam goes back to Adriana's home, Hawkman manages to seize two Intergong participants and interrogate them approximately their hideout. Adam uses brute force to interrogate both of them and learns where the Intergang's hideout is, however his manner of interrogation enrages Hawkman. As Adam and Hawkman fight, they find that Eamon hid the crown of Sabak in plain sight. They intend to apply the crown to change with Eamon and must combat side by facet to shop him. On their manner, fate reveals to Hawkman of his premonition about Hawkman's death. They reach Ishmael, who well known shows that he's the remaining descendant of King Ankot and, wanting his rightful vicinity in the throne, demands the crown, which Adriana willingly offers to store Amon's lifestyles. Unfortunately, Ishmael betrays his part of the deal by using shooting Eamon and placing the crown on himself. As Adam attempts to store Eamon, he loses control again and destroys the hideout with his energy, till the JSA protects Eamon and Adriana as Ishmael dies in the procedure. Guilt ridden. Adam flees to the ruins once more. There, he famous to Hawkman that it was genuinely Harut, his son, who became Kondok's champion. Understanding that Harut changed into Invincible, the king's men executed Harut's circle of relatives instead, killing Isis and mortally wounding Adam inside the manor. Harut gave his energy to Adam to keep him, but Ancot's archer managed to kill the now powerless Harut. Enraged, Adam slaughtered all of the king's guys, earlier than he turned into summoned with the aid of the wizards of Shazam, who imprisoned him after deeming him unworthy. Feeling incapable of turning into Kondok's champion and protecting it, Adam then surrenders to the JSA, who take him to Waller's underwater prison. Soon after, fate keeps to see the ominous premonition. It is later found out that Ishmael intentionally made Adam kill him so that he may be reborn as Sabak, which he succeeds in doing so, and arises from the underworld to Kondok to assert his throne. The JSA arrive in time seeking to prevent Sabak, who summons the undead to Kondok. Adriana and Eamon combat them, with Kareem becoming a member of them. 
Eamon asks for the human beings of Kondok to combat collectively in opposition to the undead for Kondak's freedom. The JSA prepare to stand Sabak in Ancot's ruins. However, fate creates a mystical pressure field which forbids Hawkman, Cyclone and Atom Smasher from entering the ruins, and well-known shows that Hawkman's death can be prevented, with fate's sacrifice. Fate then fights Sabak by myself, and at the identical time uses astral projection to launch Adam from his suspended animation so Adam can help them. Adam manages to get away the prison, however Sabak kills Fate. Fate's dying reasons the Force Discipline to vanish, permitting Hawkman, Cyclone and Adam Smasher attempt to fight Sabak, who overpowers them. Just as he is ready to kill the JSA, Adam arrives, and engages Sabak, however is slowly dropping as Sabak's strength can damage him. Hawkman makes use of Fate's helmet to create magical duplicates and spells, having found out from Fate, to assist Adam kill Sabak, ultimately preventing the undead. The JSA leave on proper phrases with Adam, who accepts his new role as protector of Kondok as opposed to its ruler. In a mid-credits scene, Waller communicates with a defiant Adam, caution him about forces prepared to forestall him, before he is faced by using Superman. Thank you for watching.